We're going to start out with some um, breathing, uh, a little bit of meditation, a little bit of reading. So we'll try to get everything in today. And uh, you, all you really need is to be in a comfortable space with some water next to you, um, anywhere that just kind of feels good for you. So find yourself in a place right now where you're comfortable, where you can just relax and sit back. Um, eventually, we'll, we'll move around a little bit. But let's start off with some breathing. <laughs> So make yourself comfortable in wherever the space is that you are. If you have to shift around or do a little shoulder roll to start, hey, whatever feels good for you. And then we're just going to work on breathing for the first little bit of class this morning. So sit back, close your eyes, feel heavy in your chair. Let your shoulders release. See about letting all tension in your body. Just start to drift away. Start by taking a deep breath in and hold it for five seconds. Slowly exhale and relax. Take another deep breath in as deep as you can and hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly add and anxiety. Our third breath in, take it through your nose, fill up the lungs, the belly, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and slowly as you exhale, release any and all stress that you've been holding, saying to yourself silently, relax now. Whenever you start to feel stressed, okay, this is your new solution. Okay, simply take three fully, take three full inhales. You hold at the top. And when you exhale, along with the breath, all stresses that you are feeling will release. Take that inhale again with me all the way to the top. Pause. And slowly release. Good. With your eyes being gently closed, feel that wave of relaxation come over your entire body. As you sit comfortably and quietly, start to focus on the sensations at the top of your head. Just notice how the very top is feeling. And now let the focus move down to your eyes. Even with them closed, feel the lids heavy. And maybe Silently ask the eyes to just relax a little more. Feel the calmness that's coming through your body. How maybe your breath begins to become even slower and deeper. 
If your head is resting back against your chair or back against your couch, feel the heaviness. Let your focus move to your nose and feel the slight sensations of the air as you slowly breathe in and out. Slow breaths. Inhale and exhale. Notice the sound of my voice and how soothing it may sound to you. Try to block everything out all other sounds around. Good. Take that deep breath in through your nose and slowly exhale. Take the next few moments, just sit heavy in your chair. Focusing just on the inhales and the exhales. Focus on that deep breath in. Slow exhale out. Start to take your focus further down, feeling your shoulders the heaviness as they drop away from your ears. And then feel the sensations as you are aware of each arm and the feelings as you travel down to your fingertips. Take your thumb and gently touch the tip of each other finger, maybe making a little circle, feeling a little bit of sensation as your thumb touches your index finger and travels through slowly each finger on your hand. Take that deep breath in and exhale out. Focus on your lungs as you take that deep breath. The chest will expand. They contract and expand with each breath. Even down to your belly inflates like a bit of a balloon. And then you are aware as you slowly exhale how the belly deflates the ribs slightly contract. Be aware of your whole body feeling heavy and relaxed.
From now on, you choose to be relaxed. You choose to be calm. You choose to be in control of all that you do because your health is important to you. Remember that it is natural for you to be healthy and happy. Tell yourself quietly, every day you get better and better. In order to make change, you challenge yourself. When negative thoughts start to come in, I acknowledge that I feel this way and then I release it. When a nugget negative thought arises, I catch it quickly and I say with confidence, this thought does not help me right now. Each and every day, I get better and better. I am aware of the good things going on in my life and in the world around me. When I feel that darkness is surrounding me, I know that three slow, deep breaths, relaxing my mind and body is the way to the light. Each day in every way, I get better and better. In order to make great change, I challenge my thoughts. Focus on your breath. Slow inhales and exhales. And start to notice how your body is feeling. Good. Keeping your eyes closed, but starting to be more aware again of the room around you the sounds around you. Slowly coming back to the present time. Focusing on those deep breaths. And then slowly counting your way back up from 10, 9, 8, deep breath in, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly begin to blink your eyes open. Slow, deep breaths. Begin to be aware of your body and how you're feeling. And then with your next exhale, Slowly letting your chin drop down to your chest. Relaxing your shoulders, not making any fast or sudden moves. And then we'll roll the chin gently over toward one shoulder. Slowly letting that chin roll across the chest as you find the opposite side. Good. 
Good. Deep breath in. Exhale. Roll across. And then with your breath, gently take it to the other side. Remember, the movements should be slow and controlled. You might find some stretch or a little tightness, but it should never hurt or be painful. And then let's just take a small circle, taking the chin gently just a little towards the sky as you roll the head one direction. Inhale, exhale, let's switch it. No need to rush, move at your own pace. And then we come back to center, take a deep breath in and let our right ear drop to our right shoulder. Okay, my face stays forward though. Okay, I try to keep the chin slightly tilted towards the sky and let the ear really find that drop closer to your shoulder. Deep breath in, exhale. Inhale, come back to center and gently go to the other side. Nice work, everyone. Inhale, come to center. And then this time, draw those shoulders high up towards your ears and slowly roll them back and down. Nice work. Inhale, draw it up. And exhale, roll them down. So with those same movements, find that wide chest really opening up. Start to bring the fingertips to the shoulders. Let your elbows draw small circles on your side wall. Just finding a little bit more openness and space through your front body. Good, nice work. Hold those elbows back, fingertips on your shoulders. Press them gently back to the wall behind you. And then this time, bring them forward. See if the elbows come close. They don't need to touch. Remember, don't force the movement. Inhale, open up. And exhale. Feel free to close your eyes as you do this movement if that helps you concentrate on your breath. And then take it a little more, stretch those arms out to the side. Take a nice big inhale, let them drop, pressing gently to the wall behind you. You have an upside down V shape. And as you exhale, bring them forward, interlace your fingers, give a little reach as you stretch the upper back. Good, nice big inhale, stretch open. Look up and exhale, opposite fingers interlace. So do it the funny feeling way. Good, inhale, open and stretch. Exhale, gentle round, interlace the fingers. Inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Sit up tall. Relax your hands onto your thighs. Just walk your knees a little wider. And then we take a deep breath in, sitting a little bit away from the back of your chair. Use your exhale and come forward. And we'll take a bit of a stir, just taking our upper body back and then gently coming around over the legs. Good, take your time.
Good. Reverse your direction. Okay. Remembering to start small with your movements. And if it's too much, right, go back, make a smaller range. You always want to just gradually get bigger with your movements as opposed to starting out too big and feeling any kind of pain or pulling. Good. Take it around a couple more times. Deep breaths. And then as you come forward, hold it there. Take that deep breath in. Drop your right shoulder and look over your left. Inhale, come back to center. And exhale, switch. Good. Make your movement slow and controlled. Inhale, center one more time. Right shoulder drops, look left. Inhale, exhale, switch. And then we bring ourselves back to center. Roll yourself up, walk your feet in, take that nice big breath, and then scoop your belly as you kind of just make the letter C with your spine, right? So I scoop in, I kind of let my shoulders drop, I look to my thighs, and then I sit up tall, open my chest, pull the elbows back. This is a sitting cat and cow. So finding some movement through your spine, scooping as you roll back. Inhale, elbows to hips, open up and slight look up. Good. Try it a few times. Exhale, round. Inhale. Nice work, everybody. Take one more here. Exhale. inhale tall beautiful open up those arms why don't you actually have a quick drink first take a quick second have a drink of water good always important to keep hydrated even on these days when it feels cold, you might not feel so thirsty, but your body's still needing that water. Okay, let's keep our feet flat on the floor. Open up those arms one more time. Sit really tall, nice wide chest. And as you inhale, let's stretch the arms up. And then slowly let them just float right back down to where they started, nice and easy. Good work. Inhale. And exhale. If your shoulders bother you, let your movements be more out in front. You don't need to be right next to the ears, but you decide what works best for you today. Good. This time, hold the arms up, relax the shoulders, take a deep breath, and then bend the elbows and find your cactus arms. So goal pose, cactus, palms face forward. Good. Your next inhale, stretch that arm up and bring it back. Let's switch. Good. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, inhale. Good, take both arms up and let them float all the way down to your sides. Great work, okay, you know the routine now. Nice big inhale, stretch. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, one arm stretches and pull it back and reach. 
stretch both arms up as you breathe in. And this time, float your right arm down to your side, palm against your thigh, and take an easy side bend. Good. Turn your eyes down, look towards the floor. Maybe circle out your wrist, open and close the fingers of the hand that's reaching. And then head is to center, inhale your way up. Let's switch sides. Okay, drop the arm, exhale, side bend. Maybe turning your head, circling out that top wrist. Beautiful, turn your head back to center as you inhale, come all the way up. Cactus arms, elbows bend. Good, stretch and return and switch. Good. We're gonna add on a little bit here, stretch those arms up, breathe in and slowly fall forward over your legs. Press your fingertips on your shins, come up halfway, take a deep breath, and slowly fold. Good, let's try that again. Fingertips to the shin, straighten the arm, come up halfway, and exhale, release. Good, sweep those arms, inhale. Exhale, cactus, extend one leg out in front. So we just add it on again. Okay. My toe is to the sky. I'm sitting tall. My leg is doing some work. And then reach up, return the foot to the floor. Exhale, switch sides. Good, you've got it now. Inhale, stretch. Good, switch legs, extend. Wide chest. Inhale. Exhale, switch. Beautiful, let's try one more. Inhale, exhale, extend the leg. Good. Tighten up on that thigh, work the leg. Inhale, exhale. Great job, everyone. Inhale, stretch up. Let's take one more forward fold over the legs. Fingertips to shins, come up halfway, breathe in. And exhale, fold. Sweep those arms all the way to the sky. Press your palms together and bring your hands to your heart. Good, let your eyes close for a moment. Relax the shoulders. Just be aware of all the sensations in your body. And slowly relax the hands to your thighs. Give yourself a couple shoulder rolls. How are you feeling? Are you starting to feel good, I hope? If it starts to feel good to so just breathe deep, get your muscles moving, just gentle movement. It's just so helpful for our bodies. Okay, let's work on legs just a little bit. Okay, so start by putting your hands underneath your right thigh. You can pick up off the floor or you can hold around the shin. Okay, whatever feels good for you just to be able to get that foot off so you can circle through the ankle. So starting to rotate the ankle one direction, you try to stay up tall with your spine. It's easy to slump, right? I know sometimes, but try to open through your chest and really have space to breathe. Good, if you can switch the direction of your circling, your rotation, and then maybe even just point to the floor, pull back, Okay, imagine your foot was on the gas pedal. That's the movement. Remember, like we did before, start small. 
So whatever movement you're doing, if you have any issues, start it very small and you can always get bigger as your body responds well. Good, continue to hold either around the shin or underneath the thigh. And let's see if we can find some rotation in the hip. Right, so again, I start small, and then as my hip responds, hopefully positive in a positive manner, you make it a little bit bigger. Being conscious that if your hip is an area that gives you a problem or you've had a replacement, right, you take it a little bit slower. Good, switch the direction. Nice work, everybody. Sometimes these small movements are not easy. That's why we need consistency. We need to do them every day. And now hold it next to the opposite leg and see if you can open that same side you've been working with. Doesn't matter which one. Kind of like a gate would swing open. Right, so we found a circular motion and now we open and close like a gate. And again, maybe you have a very small range and that's okay, don't force. Great job, everyone. Bring it on back, place it down, take a second. Yeah, that one side should feel fairly different than the other, but we'll match it up. Take that deep breath. Actually, let's just have one big inhale stretch and exhale. Great work. Okay, switching to the leg you haven't worked with yet. Okay, either holding underneath the thigh or around the shin, just so you can get the foot off the floor, circle the ankle. You try to relax your shoulders. And then eventually switch your direction. And then you'll find that press and pull motion, like you're on the gas pedal push, and then pull the toes back towards the shin. Nice work. So now, either holding on, or if you feel strong enough, maybe letting go, find that small rotation in the hip. Nice and easy. And then switch it the other direction. Feel free to support it, start small. Don't lose the form in your spine. I know we start to kind of drift off to the side. Try to sit tall. And now find that swinging gait motion. Open and close. Nice and easy. Great work, everybody and bring it back, match it up next to your other foot. Sit yourself tall, let's take that deep breath. We'll just do a quick flow right here. Inhale, you've already done it, you know what to do. Exhale, come forward over the thighs. Fingertips to shins, come up halfway, breathe in. And exhale as you fold. Sweep up. Cactus arms, extend one leg, stretch, exhale, opposite leg, inhale, stretch, good, right arm comes down to the side, side bend, good, heavy hips in your chair, inhale, stretch, and exhale, opposite way. Inhale. Exhale, hands to center and hands to your heart. 
Great job, everyone. Give yourself just a gentle head roll or drop an ear to a shoulder. Get rid of any tension that you're feeling in the neck, in the upper body. Good. I hope you're starting to feel relaxed. Hope your body's responding well. Good, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Let's do a little stretching for our hips. Hold a lot of tension in the hips. So let's try a couple things. I'm going to ask you to turn sideways on your chair. And so I turn to my left. I leave my left leg right where it is. Okay, so off to the side. And I begin to drop my right knee down in front of my chair. Make sure that I'm at a good angle for you to see everything. There we go. Okay, so I bend that right knee. I'm holding on with my left hand to the back of my chair. I'm going to start to feel a stretch here in my hip flexor. So again, it's easy to get the spine out of alignment. Try to be sitting tall. Your toe is down. And then eventually, if you don't feel enough stretch here, begin to wiggle your right toes back and start to feel a bigger stretch through that front thigh and hip flexor. You stop wherever it feels best for you this morning. Your, your gaze is out over your left leg, your chest is lifted, and now extend your right arm out to the sky, your palm is up, take a deep breath, and add that side bend over the back of your chair. Deep breaths. Heavy hip. Take one more inhale, exhale. And slowly come up. Good. Use that right hand for support on your chair. Begin to wiggle your right toes back. And then bring the knees to meet. Okay. Align your body for a moment. Your right side should feel a little bit different than your left. And then slowly start to just turn yourself around. This time your right side is against the back of your chair. You're sitting sideways. Your right hand is on the top of the chair. And you begin to drop your left knee down to the floor. Okay, so take it slow. Feel, start to feel that stretch in your left hip flexor first. Use both hands to hang on to your chair. And then if you decide you need more, you begin to wiggle back with that left leg. Good. Pressing that heel back. And then take the left arm out, your palm is to the sky, you're holding on with your right hand, deep breath in, exhale, side bend over the back of your chair. Good, taking two more full breaths. And on your inhale, coming up, dropping your left hand to your chair for support, and then slowly wiggling your left leg back so your knees meet up and turning yourself back to center on your chair. Nice work, everyone. Good. Let's continue with those hip stretches. First, we'll stretch the back of the leg and we'll get right to that hip. Okay, so I stretch out long right leg, toe up, heel down, put my hands on my thigh. Take a deep breath in, 
And then start to just take yourself forward over the leg. And your eyes can look past your toe. You might feel a nice stretch even in your low back as well as the back of that leg that you have out in front. Go back to that deep breathing we did in the beginning. Each exhale helping you fold further over the leg. And then gently bring yourself up with that same leg, either cross at the ankle. If your hip allows it, you can do a full cross or ankle to thigh, letting your knee drop out to the side. Okay? It all depends how your hip is feeling. Deep breath in, chest open. And again, lower that upper body towards your legs. Lean forward. You should really now feel this here in this right hip and glutes. Again, feel free to close your eyes. Take those deep breaths, relax your shoulders. With our next inhale, slowly bring your torso back up, unwind your legs, sit yourself up tall. And then when you're ready, let's extend out with that opposite side leg. Okay, so for me, it's my left, whichever one you didn't do, it's perfectly fine. Hands to thigh, toe in the sky, deep breath. And I lean myself forward, looking past my toes or even closing your eyes as you sink into it. And our next inhale brings us back up tall. That same leg that was extended, either low level, cross at the ankles, Middle is your full cross. If your hip is okay, you might decide to let the knee drop out for your pigeon. Deep breath in. Exhale, use your heart to lead you as you lean forward, pushing your hips back and getting into that left hip and glute stretch. Remember, if you came too far forward or you're really feeling like that's too tense there, uh, you might feel cramps. Just come up a little bit, release it, come back down. Uncomfortable is our word. These are uncomfortable stretches, but they should never be painful or forced. Let's take two more breaths here. And when you're ready, slowly bring your upper body back up. Unwind your legs. Settle yourself back into your chair again. Give yourself a shoulder roll. Okay, maybe drop the ear to the shoulder or the chin to the chest. But take any last movements that feel good for your body before you just settle back into the same place you were when we started. If you need a quick drink of water, feel free to have that. And then again, just find yourself comfortable. Heavy in your chair. Letting your body just recover from the movements that you've done.
And then as you close your eyes and feel comfortable, let your breath just come any way that feels natural for you. However it wants to work. Don't worry about five counts in, three counts out. Let it just flow. Notice your jaw, and if you feel any tension, just be aware of it without trying to change position. Now breathe in deeper, being aware of the sensations in your jaw. And as you exhale, allow it to release just a little bit. Inhale again, breathing in new life. And when you exhale, all tension completely fades. Take another breath in. And when you exhale, feel yourself let go of any worries. Notice how relaxed your body is feeling. Let the breath that you take help you imagine a bright future. And each time you let that breath go, notice how tension and stress and anxiety begins to ease and fade away. A gentle wave of relaxation sweeps over you as you breathe in and out. Allow your breath to flow naturally and let yourself feel calm and peaceful. Tell yourself that you deserve this wonderful feeling of peace and serenity. You are open now to receive new thoughts. And each breath that you take in allows you to take in new and fresh energy. See yourself full of energy and optimism. Stay with your breath and allow your intentions to remain positive. Even if in this moment you might not feel so positive, you can imagine what it is like to be joyful and full of hope. So continue to breathe in this joy that you are creating and notice how you are consciously shifting any depressed or anxious thoughts right now into peaceful feelings instead, just by following your breath. Breathe deeply and let your exhale completely relax you. Any thoughts that were previously holding you back become smaller and smaller. As you see them go, you are freed from their grip. Allow yourself just a few moments to simply be. Notice and feel the changes from this moment on and the difference between how you felt when we started and how you feel now. Your new thoughts find a new home within your inner being. 
Return your focus to your breath just for a few more moments. And in your own time when you are ready, slowly begin to open your eyes. Let yourself sit tall, relax your shoulders. Take your arms to the side as you take a deep breath, reach all the way up. Press your palms together and bring them to your heart center. Take one or two more full breaths. I thank you all for joining me today. I hope this was a wonderful start to your Tuesday morning. I'm going to turn.